but no one has the balls to tell you what I am about to tell you right now. We live in a time where everybody's got a voice and yet everybody is struggling to get heard. This phrase, cutting through the noise, crops up on a daily basis. I'm struggling to get my voice heard, my message across. I'm struggling to get my music out there. Now the reason for this is because most people are playing in the middle and that's the noisiest area. And the reason why people are playing in the middle is because of the fear of taking risks and the fear of offending people by moving out of the middle lane. While our politics has become more divided and more extreme, pushing their policies to the left or to the right, and if you're playing in the middle, then you're a non-event. Whereas our marketing and branding has become no risk, and with no risk becomes no reward. And this isn't just for music, this is for brands as well. Everybody is trying to please everybody all of the time and scared of the consequences for offending people because everyone has got a voice. You can't say this, you can't do that, but then we curse them for being paint by numbers and boring. Every day I hear Ed Sheeran is bland and boring. Fair enough, but then every day I get sent stuff from technical metal bands or goth metal bands or, or indie bands who are doing exactly the same thing. Another guitar band, another pick, another distortion pedal, nothing exciting. Just because you are in a niche market, that doesn't make you interesting. All that does, it gives you your demographic, it gives you the market to play to, but they will tell you if you're edgy and interesting. Just because you are where it's quiet, it doesn't mean that you're making noise. Having something to say is about standing something, and standing for something means being willing to offend people who don't believe in the same things that you do. When I was 14 years old, Nirvana released Nevermind. I was a kid, I hated it. And the reason why I hated it was because I loved Megadeth and Metallica and Pantera. And to me, grunge was rubbish. They couldn't play and the sound was just not tight enough. But they stood for something. They brought something new and a lot of people liked it. And a lot of people didn't like it, but they didn't play in the middle. Stand for something and some will follow. Stand for nothing and nobody will care. And for most bands, they stand for being in a band. They stand for wanting to do the fun things that happen when you're in a band. That's not enough. That is where the noise is. When you don't fear offending people, you move out of the middle lane to the edge and there's a lot less people on the edge than it is in the middle. And people think that if you move out of the middle lane, you're playing with fire. But I can tell you, the fire burns from the inside outwards. And this is where the noise is and this is where you're gonna get burned. The middle doesn't turn heads, and this is a lesson we all need to learn. We live in a time where we're scared of offending people because of what might happen, and our social media might get loads of hate, and we might lose opportunities because of the things that we're doing or saying. The problem is, is with nothing to say, you are nowhere. Whilst it's unpleasant to be out of your comfort zone, you got into music because you believe in something. And now is the time to get what you believe into your music and into your message and into your social media and into your marketing. This comes as a package. This is about the art and the art is not just about the music. It is about you, your story, your music, and your art. Today, I challenge you to look through all of your social media and all of your songs, your lyrics, your subject matter, your fashion, your pictures, your videos, anything to do with your art and what you are doing, and decide, is this bland? Or does this stand for something which might offend people, but at the same point, it might attract people at the same time? With so much music being released, we don't need more bland. We need more remarkable, we need more stories, and we need more truth. If you find that you're not getting any traction, if you're not cutting through the noise, this is probably the answer. You're playing in the busiest sector, right in the middle. This is the toughest part, and you need to have something that you believe in, that you feel passionate about, that you can tell the world about, which isn't just your songs. This video is about daring to stand for what you believe in. So let me tell you my truth and what I believe in. I truly believe that most of you watching have got it in you 
to do something special with your music, to change people's lives, in fact, change your life. I believe that your dreams are achievable because Dave Grohl's been there and he's done it. And bands like Muse and Arctic Monkeys and Jay-Z, these people have done it, so therefore it can be done. And who's to say that it shouldn't be you doing that? However, I also believe that no one has the balls to tell you what I am about to tell you right now. I believe most musicians won't make it because they simply don't work hard enough. I believe most musicians make excuses every day. I believe most musicians don't want to do the boring part. They just want to do the fun part and leave the rest of it to someone else which isn't gonna work. I watch so many musicians have so much ego that they won't ask for help and they won't acknowledge that they don't have a clue what they're doing and so are blissfully walking in the wrong direction whilst everyone looks on. And my biggest belief is that you are scared of taking risks. And whilst this is difficult to hear, this is mindset stuff. You can change this stuff. You don't have to be lazy. You can work harder. You can ask for help. You can take these risks and push yourself out of your comfort zone. You can find people to bring in to tell you the things that aren't working and the things that are working that you need to do more of. This is up to you and your mindset. So today is the day for you to dare to stand for what you believe in. Thanks for watching guys. If you can do me a favor, like, subscribe. More importantly, come and be a part of this community which is growing every day. I'm really proud of what we are building. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I still say tomorrow when the reality is, is probably Thursday.